Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be going through and showing you my makeup collection. So I have been wearing makeup since I was maybe 13. And I wore it a lot for dance competitions when I was younger than that, of course, but I never really wore it anywhere else. Um, and then I started wearing it um, just for fun because I like how it looks. So I'm not like a beauty makeup person. I'm not someone who like does a lot of like experimenting with makeup and stuff like that. I really only wear it for like natural stuff, like what I have right now. This is just like a plain like everyday thing or I'll wear it like for events and stuff. So a lot of the makeup that I have, I maybe bought first for like dance competition or something. I do not have a lot of makeup. I don't know if this is like the, the average, like this is what most people have for the collection, but I'm really not like a makeup collector. I really only buy stuff like if I've run out of something else or if it's some thing that I've never tried before. Another thing, I do not care about expiration dates on makeup. I know like, Beauty gurus will tell you that like your mascara, you're supposed to like get a new one like every three months or something. Couldn't be me. I use it until it's it's done. I guess I'll just take you through my whole collection. I keep all my makeup right in this drawer. I have in like a little pouch, and then I have this like this big makeup bag that you can't really see, but I keep like palettes back here and like lipsticks and stuff back here, and then I like hair stuff over here and hair stuff right here. So I always do my makeup right here in the morning. I just sit at my desk and I have this mirror that it lights up. And then I keep all my brushes in this container right here that I got like for Christmas a couple years ago. I also have a pen in here and like a pair of tweezers and stuff. I just, that's where I keep all my stuff. I'll just go through all my stuff in like order that I would apply them, I guess. So that means we start with primer. This is not like your beauty guru makeup collection video because I have one primer and it is e.l.f. brand. You'll notice that almost all my products are drugstore brand. Nothing is high-end anything. I don't have it. It's good. So yeah, I have the e.l.f. Moisture Lock Primer and I don't even use this every day. I really only use this for like dance competition if I need my makeup to stay on like good all day long. So like today, I didn't put any primer on because like I don't care if my makeup kind of like smudges off. I don't have anything to do today. Then we can go into base makeup. So I have one foundation. It is the Rimmel London Match Perfection Foundation, I'm pretty sure, yeah. In the color Fair Ivory, which I think matches me pretty, pretty well. It looks not, <laughs> this is it. <laughs> it's like a, a pump that's dirty and gross. And of course I have the matching Rimmel London Match Perfection Concealer in, of course, Fairlight. This is like a, you push it out and then you brush it on concealer. Looks like that. <laughs> yeah. This oxidizes, I think that's the word, like really fast. Like I'll put it on my face and it'll be like a bright color and then if I like come back to like blend it, it'll be like orange. So like, but what I use to blend those is this Kala. I don't know what brand, this is probably some drugstore brand. This silicone beauty blender, it's so dirty and gross, that's disgusting, I'm so sorry that you have to see that. It's also kind of coming apart, it's like peeling apart right here. I like this so much better than a beauty blender, like a sponge, because I feel like beauty blenders just suck up all the product. And I know maybe you're supposed to like wet them, but like I don't have time to run to the bathroom and wet my beauty blender. So I just use this and I think it works really well. It doesn't leave any like marks on my face or anything and it doesn't. it's not like streaky. I really like this to just pat all my foundation on. Then, going with my other makeup, I use the Rimmel London, I guess this is just like powder. It does not not have any name on it. It just says buff beige. I'm assuming that's the color, but it is just some beige like setting powder. No, I don't know, like face powder. That's what it looks like. As you can see, I use it a lot. I've hit pan accomplishment. And I just use this e.l.f. I don't know if it's a powder brush. It's this brush. It's so soft though. And I just I just swirl it around in there, pop it on my face. And as you can see, I've like I've I've used this thing a lot. Like the lid is like cracked and it's like missing pieces, but I love this powder. 
it works really well for me because like my skin is I wonder if my skin is like shiny my skin is very oily so this is good to be like a, it's a matte powder I guess the next thing in my routine is blush so I'm using this <laughs> essence if you think drugstore brand I think of this essence brand it's like all rubbed off because I've used this for so long so it's a multicolored blush so it's like I'll open it here it's like orange on this side and pink on this side and what I do is I use this little brush it's kind of scratchy honestly I have no idea where it came from I just use this little brush and I usually just put it in the pink side only and then then okay I don't really do contour or like bronzer or anything I just don't think it does anything for me I do it very very rarely and I really only just do like a bit like under my cheekbone and like some like kind of up there but if I am I use this Amelia night nude colors eyeshadow and powder blush palette it's broken like I literally like it's not it doesn't close it just Anyway, it gets a little mirror in there. So these four eyeshadow and these are like face stuff. I've never used this, whatever this is in here. Blush, that's not blush. This I will use very, very rarely with this brush. This brush is so soft. It came with like this on one side and like a beauty blender on the other, but it broke. And I just like dip it in there and then I just on my face. The next thing I normally do is I prime my eyelids. So I use this e.l.f. eyeshadow primer, which I like this a lot. I used to think I was the only person who had this, but I, I feel like it's actually a pretty common thing. Like my eyelids get really, like you can see how shiny my eyelids are. They get really oily, and so I'll put on eyeshadow in the morning, and then by like 10 o'clock, it's already all gone. There's just a line of eyeshadow in my crease, and that's it, because all the eyeshadow is like, I don't know, rubbed off. So if I use this, my eyeshadow stays on way longer. It's in the shade sheer, I guess. <laughs> But anyway, this is what it looks like. It's like a wand applicator like that. And I just put it on my eyes. And then I use this. I do have a beauty blender. I use this beauty blender and I just blend it into my eyelids. Then we have eyeshadow. And this is where my collection is becomes an actual collection and not just a bit of makeup. For a while there, I got into a habit of just buying every eyeshadow palette that I liked. Okay, this is like, I'm exaggerating. There aren't even that many, but it's the most of anything that I have. In like the actual makeup bag, I have this same palette as before, but obviously now we're talking about these eyeshadows, so there's just, it just comes with these six colors. They're nice, I don't know, I like, I don't wear, I don't use it that often. Then I have these two Maybelline drugstore product quad eyeshadow things, like they're called expert wear eyeshadow palettes, and they just come with like four shades. It gives you like a little tutorial on the back of like how to put it on. I don't use these very often, but I have used them quite a bit. They're so old, they're definitely expired, but do I care? No, I'm still gonna use them. Then I have, for some reason, I don't know why I have so many, four of these Clinique, I think they're eyeshadow like duos or something, and they have a lid color and like a crease color and this like brush. You can see I have never used it. I've literally never touched this one, maybe like Oh, I think I like once tried to use this and there's this one which is prettier yeah never even touched this one before and then so those two are just duo eyeshadows and these ones are hard to open there are three colors oh so this one is a blush on the bottom and this is an eyeshadow duo it says and then this one is a eyeshadow trio I think yeah so it's one eyeshadow and then a duo apparently I have used this one you can tell I've used a little brush I've used this color then I have these palettes. Okay, there's actually not as many as I thought. So I have this Beauty Professional Smoky Nude Eye Palette. Oh, okay, and then it's got these eight shadows, which I think these are very pretty. And I use them, you know, in rotation. I use them like enough, I guess. I think probably like this shade the best because it's like nice. And these shades because they're nice and sparkly. I like sparkles. But yeah, I like this palette. I think I got it as a birthday gift two years ago, probably. So this one is probably my most used palette. Cool. Kuo, Kuo, which I'm pretty sure is that brand, drugstore brand. They just got like a big upgrade and like made all their products look like Glossier, I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I don't, I've never used these top shades. I don't even know if those are, it says it's all eyeshadow. So these giant top shades, I guess are just base shades. I think I've definitely, mm, yeah, I've used this shade, but I've never used this one. And then all these shades, I think I've used all of them at least once. It's nice neutral colors. And then I have this, I don't know, Color Me Nude. I don't know who in the company even is, but I bought this on a whim. I just wanted it, so I got it. And these like pinky nudes, 
There's like so much pink. Um, oopsies. I don't think I've used every shade, but I definitely, like this one is like pure glitter. Like there's no like actual eyeshadow in there. That's just glitter. I also have this Avon Glazewear Diamonds Eye Color. This thing is so old. This is actually a liquid eyeshadow. Uh, I guess liquid, I don't know what to call this. It's like this brush and you just like put it on your eyelid and then I, <laughs> this is so like, this is me. If you know me, of course this would be how I would put my makeup on. I do this when I'm like feeling lazy and I want eyeshadow but I don't want to blending any eyeshadow. I just swipe that on my eyelid and I use this dollar store sponge and I just dab it on so that it blends out. It's like a nice like purpley sh shimmery color. It's nice. Yeah, but when I'm feeling lazy, that's what I do. As you saw, a lot of those palettes come with like the applicator. They come with these little applicator things. I feel like they put on the eyeshadow better than brushes do. I feel like brushes, I don't know. I feel like they don't pick up enough product or something. If it comes with one of those little spongy things, I will like swipe that and then blend it with a brush. So these three came in a set that most of my brushes are in. Emacs Design, I got for Christmas a couple years ago. All nice and soft brushes, I like them. There's like a, it's just a regular fluffy brush. And then I use this one, it's like a fluffy slanted brush. I use it for my crease. And then this slanted brush, it's not as fluffy. I use this for like the outer corner, like blending darker colors. Then in another eyeshadow brush duo, I got this these beauty to Beautopia brushes. So there's this flat fluffy brush to like pack on glittery eyeshadows. And then this little like liner brush, which I usually do to do my under eye. I don't usually like, like, I don't usually blend out a lot of colors under my eyes. I just will like, will like put a little bit under, like right on the like line. So yeah, these are my eyeshadow brushes. Those are the ones I use. Okay, this is controversial. Then it's eyebrows. And I have never done my eyebrows in my life. Oops. I don't pluck my eyebrows. I don't fill them in. I literally don't do anything. I just take this brush, which is half, I don't know what you call this brush, and then half like a brush to like separate your eyelashes. I just take this, actual brush side of the comb and I just go like this I just brush my eyebrows and then I just kind of okay that's a really bad job but like literally all I do is just make it so the hairs look nice I've never filled in my eyebrows I've never felt the need to I like my eyebrows how they are next we have eyeliner and I have two eyeliners I have this Joe Fresh Superstore brand eyeliner and it's just like one that you like push out just like the black stick eyeliner I don't use eyeliner very often and if I do I literally just do a thin little line on there and that's it I don't do any lower lash or anything um th it's cool though I never noticed it so it comes with this little brush I mean this little sponge I'm assuming it's like to smoke it out or whatever if you want to but then so if you pull out this little cap there's a little brush on the other end but then if you pull out that little brush eh, there's a sharpener this is to like sharpen the edge of the eyeliner which I thought was cool then I also have this Clinique black eyeliner, which is, oh, oh, what am I doing? It's just this little, the same thing, just a tiny little eyeliner. This one doesn't come with a sharpener because you like twist it up, I guess. For a long time I thought this was gray eyeshadow, so I didn't use it, but it's black. I mean eyeliner. Okay, next we have highlighter, and as I mentioned before, I only started using highlighter like three or four years ago. So I have Essence, a highlighter stick. So it says it's a cream to powder effect. And it's just like this creamy like stick. And so I just rub it there, rub it there. And then I take this flat, like slanted fluffy brush from that same kit as before. And I just like buff it out all the highlighter that I put on. So there's that. And then I go in with this e.l.f. highlighter. I really like this highlighter called Moonlight Pearls. And so I just use this big, like, what do you call this? This brush that like, goes to a point and I just dip it in there and then I go over where I buffed on the other highlighter. I go over that and then I use, then I use this tiny brush that's like the same kind of brush and I do it down my nose, on the tip of my nose and then I do it in my inner corners and on my brow bone. Sometimes I'll do my cupid's bow but I feel like you can't really see it on my cupid's bow. Next we have eyelashes. So I have this eyeshadow curler. I have no idea where it's from. And then I have two mascaras. So, okay, I know this is like so basic. This is the only thing I've ever bought from Sephora in my life, so I am proud of it. And that is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I probably bought like a year ago. And it says on the bottom, that's only good for six months. <laughs> but I don't care. 
I like it. That's what I'm wearing right now. You know, my eyelashes look so short and tiny. But that's just what they look like naturally, so, you know. But anyway, yeah, I really like this mascara. I know it's, like, basic, but once I run out, I'm probably gonna buy something else. So, whatever. I put that on my top lashes, and then I put this Clinique, like, tiny little mascara on my bottom lashes. Just because I like this little mascara, and, I don't know, it's good for bottom lashes, I guess. How, what do you guys think? <laughs> Next is lips, and this is where another... Like, I have a bit of a collection, so I have... First, I have this, this set. I don't know, it just says JG on it. And this came with a set of these lipsticks. There's one more, but I've lost it. Five lipsticks. Or maybe there was even six. And that same number of nail polishes, which I like all those nail polishes too, and they're just like nude colors. So like, there's like these nude colors like this, and then there's some more like really like deep colored ones like that. I like these lipsticks. They're really not for every day though. They're more for like occasions because they're like quite like deep. They're just like very prominent and like visible. Okay, then I have this set, which I got for Christmas at least two years ago, maybe even three. I don't think there was a name on the package. Oh, geez, but they're just four like nude colors. They really kind of all look the same. Then I have these two lip glosses. They are Elizabeth Arden. Just have like a nice pink one and then like a more nude one that I use these quite often. Um, I'll usually use them over top of those li other lipsticks. The very last step is setting spray. So I use this Maybelline Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray and I just shake it up and, and I just spritz, spritz, spritz and then so extra. So yeah. That is my entire makeup collection. It is very small. I don't even use all those products most of the time, but it's, you know, it's what I like. With those little products, if I can get this, just to, like to not look disgusting, and okay, don't mind my acne, but like if I can achieve this like nice and like, natural look on like the everyday with like just those little products, then like I'm good with that. I hope you guys enjoyed and like leave me a comment if this is like normal or if I'm like an exception. Do people usually have bigger collections than this, smaller collections? Let me know. Let me know what you want to see next and follow me on Instagram at Olivia Joanne YT. YT is for YouTube if you did not know because Olivia Joanne was already taken. Subscribe, like, come back to find out what the next video will be and I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!